Okay, hey guys, welcome back, and I'm going to be showing you how you can get this iOS 9 on your device. Now, this is the public beta 3. It's the equivalent of the regular beta 5, but you've got no chance of bricking your device, and this is completely allowed by Apple. They've introduced this to the public so people can, you know, try it out, and they can debug it by sending bug reports to Apple himself through the feedback app. Now, I'm going to be showing you how you can get this. Um, so first off, you just want to go into Safari. This is supported on every device um, 4S and above and the iPad 2 and above. So um, all the regular iOS 9 supported devices, this will work. So you want to first go to beta.apple.com and it will bring you to a page similar to this, but it will say sign up. And you want to sign up with your Apple ID and go through the whole process of signing up until you've done that. And then you want to go to beta.apple.com slash profile. I'll have the links in the description so you can just quickly go there. And you want to sign in, it'll have a sign in page, you want to sign in with the Apple ID you just registered, and then you want to hit download profile. Now this will jump to the settings app, and it will ask whether you want to add the iOS 9 beta software profile. You want to click install, I've already done it, and it will then ask you to restart your iOS device. And once it's restarted, you can then go into settings, general, software update, and it will show that you have a public beta 3 update there for iOS 9. So then you just want to click update, and then it will update and you've got this. Now there's two new apps. There's the news app, which is kind of like Flipboard. You get personalized news articles you can explore, you can, you know, followers, you can check all the different types of followers. You say I'm into technology, Android Central. I can go do that. I can also save them and I can search for new news articles. Now this is really clean interface and I do like it. It keeps everything neat and it's fairly easy to read. I do like the style of it. Um, it's really simple and there's no switching from page to page. There's nice animations as well. You also get this, which is a new multitasking um, app switcher, and it does look nicer. And you also get the feedback app, like I said before. Now this is for reporting the bugs, like I said, this will simply send Apple a bug report of your software and what's gone wrong, um, if there's any problems. Now you also get a 4x4 app grid in your folders, which is fairly cool. And you get all the other new iOS 9 features that you may want to check out. Now I will leave a link in the description to everything Apple Pro's video showing you everything in iOS 9 that is new. So definitely go check that out and enjoy iOS 9. So anyway guys, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.